Jai was born six weeks before his due date and um, he went into fetal distress. At that time, the doctors told me that they had to deliver him via C-section. Um, shortly after he was born, Dr. Sola gave me the news that he could have possibly had a hard murmur. Um, at that time, I didn't know what type of hard murmur it was, so we had two weeks to play with to get to a cardiologist to find out what the issue was. When we had visited the cardiologist, they told me that he had a small atrioseptal defect and a large ventricular septal defect, which caused him to then go into heart failure. We spent one week in the hospital, but luckily for me, I was able to take him home under one condition. He had to be seen by the doctor every other day, and we continued that for six months of his, of his life. At first, I was kind of confused, and then... I tried to relieve myself by thinking that, okay, I knew people who had heart murmurs and, you know, they seemed perfectly fine, didn't have to do anything besides to follow up with the doctors to ensure that they were okay. And it wasn't until after I got the news about his ventricular septal defect that I got scared. I was nervous. I was frightened out of my life. You know, I was just scared that I was going to lose him, but everything worked out. pretty easy for me to build trust with them because they were very caring they were very helpful I mean you know when you can just experience people and you know you can just tell right off the bat that they enjoy what they they do that they love what they do so it was pretty easy for me to to trust the doctors and trust the nurses and they were very friendly with him Jai loved them I mean literally just now we met nurse Eileen and he jumped into her arms out of my arms and he just laid his head on her chest and you could tell that he missed her so we built a, a really good relationship with the doctors and nurses here The surgery took about five hours from start to finish and he spent about four days in the hospital and after those four days we just did one week follow-ups with the doctor. It was scary. He is very bubbly, a very happy baby. He's always laughing, he thinks sneezes, um, hiccups, all of those things are funny. He, he is pretty much the light within the house. I would like to say a big thank you to the doctors and nurses, especially Dr. Solar, Nurse Eileen, Nurse Rosa. Um, they played such a pivotal part in helping me to fight this battle because I could not have done it alone.